So this is just going to be a quick video on the correct export settings for a DXF for laser cutting or other computer aided manufacture um, machines from Adobe Illustrator. Now there's two things we need to look at first and that is everything that you are going to export needs to be ungrouped. So to do that, select everything and then go up to object and ungroup and keep clicking that until it's grayed out because that'll remove groups within groups, which you don't want. Grouping is going to remove some of the information and on some lasers, that'll be color information. On some lasers, the lines that are grouped just will not show up um, and you don't want that. The next thing is to check that we're in millimeters for our document. And if you're not in, in millimeters, say you're in centimeters or inches, you can go up to file and document setup and just change your units here to millimeters and select OK. Now we're ready to go into our export settings. So first select everything you want to export. Notice I'm not selecting this because I don't want to export this text here. So I've got all this selected, then it's file and export. Get into the place you want to save it. And we're going to select .dxf, which is a universal um, laser file. And I've given it a name and I'm going to click export. Now, this is our export settings window. We need to change this to R13 LT95, scale one millimeter to one unit, number of colors A, and we've got that on JPEG. We've also got checked maximum editability, and we've also got checked export selected R only. Now what this enables us to do, rather than export the full document, is select what we want exported. In this case, we've selected this square and this logo here. What this has done is, le is leave out this text up here, which we don't want exported. And now this is useful if you have a document like me where you've got some text or other designs around the edge of your main design, but don't want those in your DXF. So once you've got all that set up, you just click OK. And that is now exported as a DXF and that is ready for laser cutting. I hope this has been useful and to get your designs laser cut, check out lasercutting101.com.